Uh, here we go. We are counting them down, man. We have three more moves after today. We'll only have two more moves. Leslie is over saying goodbye to everybody. I'm getting everything broke down for the move today. We're only going about uh, less than 200 miles. Going from uh, Georgetown, Kentucky over to Knoxville, Tennessee. Hang out with some friends there. We're going to go to the NASCAR truck race while we're there. Probably get into a couple other things while we're there. And uh, we will show you a spot once we get over there and get settled as we count them down. Well, it was a longer travel day than it needed to be because apparently there was someone on I-75 right outside of Lexington, Kentucky who decided that they wanted to commit suicide by jumping off of the overpass. I don't know if they actually jumped or not or whether first responders got there and shut down the highway before they could jump or if they actually jumped. I got to get on Google and see if they actually jumped off. But. A dangerous situation led Lexington police to shut down parts of Interstate 75 for several hours Monday. This man was first seen waving a gun over his head on the Bryan Station overpass around 945. Police say he then fired several shots. The man eventually shot himself. He was taken to the hospital with life-threatening injuries, but no one else was hurt. Anyway, they shut down the interstate completely. And it was right before we got there, so it was at a complete standstill. We were able to get off to the shoulder a little bit and get into an exit and go into downtown Lexington and do a bypass. As soon as we got there, detour for construction, took us another way, and then we couldn't even use our G RV GPS because our RV GPS was trying to take us back to I-75. So we're on Google Maps, hoping that we don't hit like a low overpass, going totally against the RV uh, GPS instructions. And so there was an hour delay there. So what was supposed to be a three hour travel day turned into a four hour travel day. Lots of construction in downtown Lexington, slow going. We got behind a semi who also got rerouted, who tried to take a sharp corner and couldn't. So then he had to back up. Everybody had to back up. It was a whole, whole deal. And then this, yeah, that's a piece of trim that belongs right there. And so we had all that going on and, uh, I didn't even get finished setting up. I was just, I was over it, all of it. Because the roads, as soon as we went from Kentucky and crossed the state line into Tennessee, it was like, it was like they took jackhammers and just yeah. chiseled up the road and just left it. So you drive, I mean, as soon as you cross into Tennessee on I-75, it was like, it was, it was wavy. Yeah. And it was weird. It was crazy. And so we have these screwed in instead of tacked in because they have all fallen down. This one has never fallen down. So he was like, yeah, it's fine. It's been up there for three years. It's no problem. And it only has these little guys. These little, these little things. Two of them. This big piece of wood. Two of these. I'm surprised it stayed in for three years. Yeah. Honestly. It is, it is a miracle, honestly. <laughs> oh my God, it's so hot. Yeah, it's hot. We're headed to the NASCAR truck race today in Nashville. Yep. And here's a fun fact for you. Okay. We are actually going to drive more miles to go see them drive than they're going to drive in the race. True, true story. <laughs> I wanted to give an update though because I was talking about the travel day that we did to get here. Yeah. And the suicidal dude on the overpass oh, that caused all the traffic. Yeah. So, and I said that he, he was going to jump. That wasn't the case. He was like waving a gun around. Yeah. And so police closed down because he's waving a gun around walking across the overpass. So they yeah. closed it down. Standoff for, for hours, hours with this guy trying to talk it's him down. good thing down. he got off the highway. And eventually he shot himself. Yeah. Um, but didn't, didn't die yet. No, he didn't die. He's in critical, critical condition. So and he must have missed where he was aiming. If he was trying to kill himself. I don't know if he was trying to kill himself. Or maybe he accidentally shot himself. I have yeah. no idea. But either way, he shot himself. They cleaned up the scene. And, but it's a good thing that we went around. Yeah. As much of a pain in the ass as that was. Oh, yeah. But, uh, yeah, we're going to go see a race today. Yes. Nashville. Music City. Woo! And fast trucks. That's right. Well, we made it to Nashville Super Speedway, our third track of the year. We are at Daytona and then Martinsville and now at Nashville for the truck race. Leslie's over here shopping, of course. We just got here and she's already shopping. She found this shirt that says, what? Well, Super Day Vodka. So let's check, see how much that is. <laughs> And then we'll do some more shopping over here. 
for all of our driver swag. This is awesome. YouTube certified mechanic. We just gotta find one that says YouTube certified RV tech. And I'm in. I gotta get that. Oh, there's my driver. If my driver ever wins a race, what he does is he parks on the start finish line and he smashes a watermelon when he's standing up here on the windowsill. So that's why you see Ross Chastain, you'll see the watermelon and people will be wearing watermelon hats. Um, this is not his cup car, this is his Xfinity Series car, but if he wins, he'll stand up, smash a watermelon on the racetrack, and then go to victory lane. It's so cool, we were walking along, this guy stops us, I think he's trying to sell us something, yeah. and he gives us these bands, and he goes, do you guys want to be a part of the opening ceremony and hold the flag before the truck race? And we were like, hell yeah. yeah. So we got these, we get to go in before anybody else, we're gonna be on the infield with a bunch we're of people, and we're gonna hold the flag, so. Oh, cool. Hopefully we'll be able to get some footage of that. I'll probably won't be able to record, <laughs> but I'll see if I can find it on TV because I have it recording at home anyway. So this yeah. is gonna be awesome. Hey. Hey. VIP coming through. VIP. VIP. Your VIP and my VIP are two different ways. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been up close to the safer barriers. So when the car or the truck smashes up against the wall, this takes some of the brunt or the force off of it. So it's not like hitting straight concrete. It's what so cool. Mr. It's awesome. We have our hats off because we're going to be holding the flag. We won't have a chance to take our hats off. So, Nashville this is the Super whole Speedway. crowd here here's going to be holding the flag to tonight. And we're getting ready to see driver introductions. Normally you have to pay a lot of extra money to do this, but we just got pulled in to do the flag thing so we get to be front stage during driver introductions. It's so cool. That our flag was still there. Oh, say does. That was so cool, man. We got to do the flag. We were waving right. during the dash right. anthem, and now we got to get off the track because the race is about to start. Well, let me show you what happened here to our trim, or at least what we think happened. There's a cord, like a electrical cord that runs here to power the motor for the slide, and it was sticking out a little bit. So when they reinstalled the slide, they didn't push that cord back enough, so when that cord got stuck here, it pushed this piece of trim forward, which pushed that big piece of trim off. So now it pulled this off too, so we're gonna have to tack this back down, and then we'll grab our piece of trim there, and we'll put it back up. We're gonna put it back up with screws. You just gotta be careful, because there's a screw there. We don't wanna hit that, so we measured in. So we'll put a screw there, and then we'll measure in from this side. We'll put a screw over here, and should be good to go. We can only find the metallic screws so we'll have to cover that up with some kind of a coloring same kind of coloring that we used for the ones over here Leslie's got the nail gun all right we got it in we tacked in this trim here and then we screwed in some screws here and here and now Leslie is down looking for paint such an artist look at you that's a big ass brush to be brushing I know, I heads of nails. I couldn't find them a little one, so I'm just making do with just what Just the tip. <laughs> <laughs> well, only three more days. Mm -hmm. And it'll be it. One two more moves. We're gonna overnight stay. Overnighter. Yeah. And that's it, but we're wrapping it up from here in Knoxville. We didn't do a whole lot other than the race. The race. But yeah. what more fitting way to end our travels than to hold the big flag at the end of the NASCAR race. Yeah. That was really cool. With a couple who was a subscriber before we even left Alabama in the first place. Yeah, and one of the very first people we ever met up with and yeah. visited, and now are the last ones that we met up yeah. with. Yeah. Very cool. That's how you know you've come it was full cool. circle. And not only did we get to hold the flag, but because we got invited down to hold the flag, we got to be down on the track for opening ceremonies. Yeah. We got to see the driver introductions. Uh -huh. Got to see Frankie. Frankie Muniz. From Malcolm in the Middle. Oh, that was so cool. He races, well, he's, he's always been a passion of his, but uh, yeah. he was racing he the truck race last night. Yeah. Clint Boyer came out of retirement to race in the truck race last night. I loved it. Because yeah. I love him. He's such yeah. a hottie. <laughs> and he's he, funny. He's like the sexy dad. <laughs> yeah. He is the sexy. He brought his kid out with him. And you could tell like he'd been retired for a while. He didn't know which way to walk. Yeah. He was, after, after, <laughs> he was like, oh, no, I, I don't go this way. I go this way. I forgot. But it was super cool. It was. I was like, I love you, Clint. Yeah. <laughs> so we got to be right up there. And um, yeah, it's coming to an end. Coming to yep. a close. But it's exciting. And it uh, I think we bought a car. <laughs> I know. We think we bought a car. <laughs> like, how do you not know? Yeah. 
But we uh, we got in touch with your sister, mm -hmm. who's a big wig with one of the dealerships down yeah. in, in Florida. They own several dealerships, and one of the dealerships they own is a Toyota dealership. And we like the RAV4. We do like the RAV4. So we've been looking at that, so they are going to get us a good deal on that. So mm -hmm. we're, I think we're, I don't know if it's not finalized yet, but I think we're No, in, we haven't signed anything We got the yet. motions going to purchase a car. So And they're going to deliver it straight to the door. Straight to the house, one mile yeah. on the car. Yeah. So we'll they're show you that. It's good, cool. Flat bedded all the way up to us. I mean, that's. That's awesome. So in the past month, we've bought a house and a car without looking at either one of them. <laughs> this is the new way that we roll. <laughs> <laughs> I hope we like them. <laughs> we did have the when the truck broke down in back. We were back home when Harper, Alabama, was, born. When Harper was born. When the truck, the, the batteries battery died. Right. We had to get towed out. One of the rentals. Well, the first rental we had was was the Rav Four. Was the Rav Four, and I got the flat. But yeah. it was a nice car. I enjoyed it. Why we had so we've it. driven it before, and Lauren yeah. has a Rav Four, so we already know we like the Rav Four. And it's 2024, so we know that we'll, we'll be fine with yeah. it. So, anyway, I don't know. We'll, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> but we'll take you all through it. We got a lot to, to go through. We got yeah. these last couple of days of travel to do, mm -hmm. getting settled in back in Alabama, getting everything sold. Uh, we got to get the decals off the back of the rig and off the truck. Yeah, everything that we're, we're not going to be using, we're going to be taking over to storage. So, this is just bare bones. So, when we do sell it, it can go really, really quick. Mm -hmm. And so, we got a lot of work ahead of us, and it's going to be hot the whole time we're doing it. Yeah. It's gonna be miserable. Yeah, but I can't wait to get there and get a hold of Harper, Harper's cheeks. Yes, you know, the <laughs> thighs and the cheeks and the tushes. Yeah. Every that's pitching yeah. it all. It's gonna be awesome. <laughs> but hey, we're closing this one out. Stick around for a few seconds. Uh, as we're gonna honor a fallen hero. If you want to get involved with helping us help veterans, everything you need to know is right down in the description. And uh, man, brace yourselves. It's gonna be crazy really quick here. But we'll see you next time. Bye.